He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. You know, Walt loved the idea of progress, and he loved the American family. And he himself was probably as American as anyone could possibly be. He thought it would be fun to watch the American family go through the 20th century, experiencing all the new wonders as they came. And he put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress, which we are now about to see. Although our Carousel family has experienced a few changes over the years, our show still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow is just a dream away And there's a dream that's so short It falls as dream to find the heart And when it becomes a reality It's a dream come true for you so there's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Just a dream away yeah, It looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century and Believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 20 stories. And moving pictures flicker up on a big screen. We have almost 8,000 automobiles in this country, and we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. And I even hear tell about two brothers in North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stoves. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot and just three buckets of coal. Oh, boy, it sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that. Holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog, Rover, here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had to carry water from a well. And thanks to progress, we've got a pump right here in the kitchen. Of course, we keep a bucket of water handy to prime it with. Yes, sir, we've got everything we need to make life easier. Say, Mother, mm -hmm. I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene, no more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marvel. Five hours to do the wash. Imagine it used to take two days. Oh, well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like, like canning uh, and cleaning the oven. <laughs> yes, dear. Don't just clean themselves, you know, I know, dear. <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get the laundry off the line before it starts raining cats and dogs. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. Down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, we look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereoscope. That's not a toy, you know. Voila, so that's the Luigi doing the Luigi Dad. Isn't she a knockout? She's the star of the new World's Fair in St. Louis, and. <clears throat> now, you put that away before your mother finds it. Oh, Dad. You heard me. Well, we have one of those new talking machines. Now, that is something. It plays music right here in our home. Oh, Papa. Yes, Patricia? Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. <laughs> Don't worry. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic you're taking mother.
father out for Valentine's dinner this evening. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic as yours, Mother. Now, you be home by 9 o'clock, daughter. You hear me? Yes, Papa. Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress, there's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow shining at the end.